been a part of the Boise sports scene for decades, and now things are changing. For a sports writer who has seen it all, Idaho Statesman sports editor Mike Prater called it a career last week. Our Don Nelson sat down with Prater in his new full-time home at KTIK Radio for a look back and a look ahead. August of 1994, I went on, I went on vacation. And when I came back from my first day, the, the boss called me in the office and said, do you want to cover Boise State football? Pretty good timing for a young sports junkie looking to cover a college football program full time. From Pokey Allen to Brian Harson, Prater has had a front row seat to the Boise State Broncos rise in the polls. I asked him, besides the obvious Fiesta Bowl answer, what one Bronco game sticks out. Dirk Cutter versus John L. Smith. Uh, Boise was not even close to a, 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 you know, a perennial bowl team at that time. Uh, two Idaho coaches, both born and raised in eastern Idaho, high schools from eastern Idaho, and, and Boise State won that game 34-31. And I really believe that between Bart Hendricks and Dirk Cutter really set the table for, for that Fiesta Bowl run, set the table for everything we know about Boise State football now. And how about those Boise Hawks? Prater had high praise for former and longtime manager Tom Kochman, who he says is a baseball genius. And now he can't wait for the Hawks to fly into their new proposed Hawks nest downtown. Get this great carrot in front of us with this baseball stadium, soccer stadium, downtown buzz. I think it's very exciting. It's going to happen. It's going to be good. I think it's going to be a difference maker downtown. But it's no secret covering the Broncos, Hawks, and other sporting events has changed. With the dawn of social media, Prater saw things changing. Some good, some bad. It's very corporate, it's very big time. Um, and the industry has changed with that. You know, people think I'm getting out of the business because newspapers are dying, and, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. But don't expect Mike Prater to ride away into the sunset. These days, he's very comfortable sharing a radio booth with his longtime partner, Jeff Caves, and he believes the best is yet to come. Promise you this, Mike Prater is not going away. Um, we're, we're going to evolve into something new and exciting. Um, you know, maybe my role expands here at the radio station. I'm going to continue to do the radio show. I'm going to continue to be involved with media. I'm going to dive into Boise State Athletics even more. Not bad for a guy who came to town over 25 years ago just looking for a place to tell his stories. Don Nelson, six on your side.